everyone, today we're going to do an emergency pickup on an abandoned snake that may or may not still be alive. Okay, the story is two months ago, somebody, I think a landlord, reached out to us via email saying one of her previous tenants left, abandoned the snake, and keeps saying he's gonna come back and pick it up, but never does. So I don't know how long the snake has been by itself. There was a lack of communication for about two months, so I know it's been quite a while. It sounds like the landlord has been trying to feed it, or tried to feed it a while ago. It stopped eating, and now she smells something that smells dead. So I don't know if this snake is gonna be alive, but we're gonna find out. She says she thinks it's seven feet long and that it's a boa constrictor, which probably means it's a ball python, right? Probably. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. So we don't quite know. A lot of people who don't know snakes like to over-exaggerate. I just accidentally, the length of the snake. So we're gonna go to the shop, pick up a pillowcase and a bin so that whatever size it is, we can put it in something. And we're doing this all in the middle of a snowstorm, by the way. Like our store is closing early today and it's gonna be closed tomorrow because of a blizzard. Nothing like a nice Minnesota winter for a snake rescue. All right, how long has he been left? Do you know? A couple months, it's been a while. A couple months, that's not too bad in snake terms. Okay. Oh yeah, it is in fact a boa constrictor. Okay, my buddy. You wanna try to get him out? Okay, I'm gonna go around here really fast. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, we're still moving around. Hey, hey. Yeah, all she's right. gonna let you. Well, she hello, is, all right. She needs a good soak. Yeah, we can take care of that though. Right. Snake is acquired. We have her, she's Got skinny. Her. She's back there. She also has about four layers of stuck shed yeah, on her. Yeah, she has a lot. And um, I think I know why she didn't wanna eat. I touched her basking light, it's an LED. So, really? Yeah, so she Oops. wasn't actually on heat at all, which if you don't know reptiles, if her old basking light went out and they just got something else to give sure. to her, they must not have known LED does, I don't know. So I don't blame the people who are nope. still living in the house. I actually thank them. They were them. just trying to take care of her. Yes, yes. So we're gonna bring her back to the shop and take a closer look. Okay, we're back. Yep, we, have the, we have the boa. He or she. He or she, yeah, we're gonna probe, but yeah. Oh. Yeah, look at all the stuck, like, layers of stuck shed. There's oh. a layer, there's a layer. Poor dude. Thankfully, it only looks like two. Okay, but, that's not too bad. What's yeah. with your mouth, dude? Yeah, a little bit of mouth rot or something going on in his mouth, Weird. too. Weird, yeah, so we have, yeah, it looks like there's some infection or some buildup in your lips here. And we've got, I don't know, a cleft lip? Maybe a, uh, a rodent bite from being Maybe. fed live at one point? It's hard to tell. Stuck eye caps, for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. We're gonna have to take those off for sure. Yep. We can do that today though. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna make you feel a lot better really quick, dude. And we are underweight and as well. And super skinny, yeah. Look at this. Oh my uh, gosh, look at his belly. Oh geez. Oh, oh wow. You poor thing. My finger shouldn't be able to go into your rib cage. Oh, oh buddy. All right, okay. well, we'll see. Hopefully he makes it. Uh, hopefully. Probably super under, under super dehydrated too. I didn't see a water bowl in there now that I think about oh, it. Oh my gosh, you're... Right, I don't think I saw a water bowl either. Maybe there was. Maybe I on the far was, end. Yeah. On the plus side, I don't see mites at all. Well, cut by itself makes sense, I guess. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna start with a soak, soak and we'll get the stuck shed off and we'll take it from there. All right, so this little guy or girl is so underweight slash dehydrated that as I'm pulling the skin off, it's like peeling her, she's got like a flap of skin that's coming with. You poor, poor thing. All right, well, I'll just keep working on this. Okay, we've been soaking and Ed and I have been working, mostly Ed, has been working on her shed skin and look at what all has come off. Look, 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 ready? There's a pretty snake underneath all this. We're gonna get the final oh, satisfying pull. Look at that. Oh, all two layers kind of coming off at once here. Oh no, don't rip at the very end. No, no, you have to do the whole no! thing. <laughs> so Good. unsatisfying. Uh, it's like when somebody cuts a cake the weird way. That's right. <laughs> okay, well Ed's working on that. There's actually a really pretty boa constrictor on there. She's all of leaning. that. Yeah, come back here. Come back here, girl. I'm glad to see she's moving around a bit. She's moving very slowly. You wanna feel something sad? Feel her tail. Oh. It's like nothing but 
bonus. It's just skin and bone. I, whoa, I can feel, okay, it's kind of interesting. I can feel where the vertebrae kind of flare out on the sides a little bit. Yeah. All the way down her tail. Oh my gosh, you poor thing. You are so emaciated. Yeah, I'm sorry you were abandoned. Now we just have to get her head and we'll have all that stuck shed off. Yep, all right, I did my job. Emily's now working on the face. Yeah, it's like really on there good. Yeah, it's like you get a little bit going and then it just peels. Yeah, it I mean, it, it, it's ready to come off. It's just been stuck for so long. Yeah. It doesn't want to anymore. Okay, there we go. Lower jaw is mostly cleared. Okay, I think this scab on her nose is ready to come off. Oh yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. This is like the ball python we have yeah. that had a similar issue. Just healed up though. Okay, now you can breathe out of that nostril. Yeah, she has been struggling, like lots of wheezy breaths. I was thinking upper respiratory infection or she just can't breathe out of her nose. Yeah. Oh, should we see if we can get this eye cap off? Sure. Okay, eye cap. Oh, come on. There we go. There's an eye cap. Nice. I think there's still another one on there. I think there's a second on there. Also, don't. Like in most situations, I'm gonna back out on Emily here. In yeah. most situations, don't do this. Don't just pick out a snake's face. Yeah, like this, we know she's got two to three layers of stuck shed on her. Yeah. So we're doing this and we've done this in the past, but just because you think your snake is in shed, 90% of the time, 99. Yeah. First off, take it to a vet if you think there's yes. a problem. Let a vet do this. Secondly, if you think there's stuck shed, let it try and take care of itself. Mm -hmm. like if, if there's stuck eye cap, most of the time, just let it get it off the second time. Improve husbandry It'll, conditions. Right. She'll peel it off. They'll peel it off themselves. Mm -hmm. But in this case, it's not going to come off because it's been stuck for so long. So that's yeah. why we're actually intervening and taking this Helping. off physically. Should we take off the other side of her sure. nose scab? Let's see if we can get you to breathe through both sides. Do you have a second nostril? Whoa, I mean, hello. That side is where something bit, so it could have bit right through yeah. that nostril. And it wouldn't surprise me if this thing was getting fed live. Yeah, it would not surprise me either with that kind of scars. Let's see if I can get this eye cap off. It's coming, it's coming. Oh, there's one. There's one eye cap off. I think she has a second one on there too. I think she does too, but maybe that might be, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how long it takes and Aww. what's going on. She might be able to get one eye cap off. Yeah, at least shed. one's gonna help for now. Yeah. There. Okay, I'm just gonna finish up all this shed skin around her face and make her feel a little bit better. Okay, sorry, we just have to point this out to this yeah. poor thing. We've got one layer stuck shed you can see there coming off and a second one underneath it right there. Yep. So we've been peeling There's off- at least two. Two layers, yes. Which is probably why it's shed. so hard to get off in all fairness. Yeah, I mean, she's being a big sweetheart though. Yeah, I don't know if she has enough energy to not be a sweetheart though. Yeah, yeah, you poor thing. We're just trying to help you. All right. Got She's mostly shed free. Yes, got everything except for the second eye caps off. We got the first layer of eye caps off of her eyes, but she does have another one. They're just being a little more stubborn and we don't want to push her. No. So we're going to leave a set of stuck eye caps on yeah. and then hope that she can take those off herself when she sheds. Yeah, so you can see there's a little bit of like movie, like it's wavy, her eye is, that, yeah. that's the second eye cap. But again, she'll get moved into proper, proper humidity. humidity. So next time, yeah, how's her, how's her mouth? Yeah, we're gonna take a look on the inside. Ooh, I mean, other than some saliva I'm seeing. Yeah, the tissue look looks good. Terrible. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of saliva, so. But that could be because she's in the bath. Too. Yeah, that's true. I actually, yeah, don't see a whole lot of saliva though. She might not even have an RI. I, I think it could have just been she couldn't breathe out of her nose. Yeah, so. that could be. So she might be good to go with some heat, some meals, and a shed. Yeah. So hopefully the meals fix whatever this is. Oh my gosh, yeah. Jeez. I don't know. That might be like a collapsed lung or something. I don't know. Mm, I think she's just really skinny. Hopefully. So I guess we'll set her up in a bin. Well, do we want to weigh her first? Oh, and yeah. Pro and probe her, oh, yeah, see yeah, if she's yeah, a sorry. she or a he. Let's do that, yeah. You can right. see her heart beating. Can you really? Yeah, where it's not indented anymore, like right there where her organs start. You can see her heart beating through the Oh my scales. gosh, you can. That's so weird and sad. Weird. All oh. right, well, I got the scale set up. It's teared out under there. It's okay. hard to see, but it is. Okay. 306 grams. Oh my gosh, you weigh nothing. 
Aww, I feel so bad for her. Yeah. Okay, 306 grams. And uh, should we probe to see if she's a male or female? Sure, I have to get the tripod set up for that. Okay. Okay, actually, uh, we let her sit down for a little bit uh, just to kind of calm down after all that handling. And she, I read the scale wrong. She is 3,000 grams, not 300, which makes much more yeah, sense. Yeah, makes a lot more sense. There's a little bit of a difference there, but she's still so underweight and so malnourished. We've got a lot of work with her. But one thing we want to do is probe her so that we know for sure that she's a female. Just, you know, not that it really matters, but it might give us an idea of how big she might get. Although it wouldn't surprise me if she was stunted. Can Emily do this by herself? Can I probe first off by myself, second off backwards and upside down? It'll just be like drawing on eggs, right? Yeah. So we're going to slide the probe in under the anal plate and then pivot, go down either the scent gland or a hemipene, depending on how far it goes, once I can find the pocket. Well, I didn't really get anything on that side. So either a female or I didn't do it right. Oh, there's a bucket. Okay, I'm gonna stop it there. Oh yeah, that's Yeah, a... we're okay. a boy. <laughs> so she is a he. Yeah, I guess I guess we're a, we're a male, not a female. So he, bear with me, I think he should okay. be named Christian. Why? For, for like Christian Bale. Batman? Well, yeah, but he got like Batman? super skinny. Like, look at look at how skinny he was. Oh my gosh, that's Christian Bale. Yeah, that's Christian Bale for a role. So, okay, okay. I think he could Christian. be Christian. Christian. Aww. Okay, well now we're gonna set him up in a bin and let him relax and try to feed him. All right. So he's been in there for a couple hours. Yep. So he should be nice and warm. It's and warm. It's, it's dark. dark. I don't have high hopes, regardless. No, I don't think he's gonna eat either. But Hello. it's worth a shot. Do you want a rat? He just seems so tired. Yeah. Do you not want it? You want some more time to kind of relax? Is he, is he getting warm at least? He's warmer yeah, than he was, yeah. yeah. He's not cold. How about so. if I lay it in there for like 10 minutes and we'll see. All right, put it in the coil though, so that he, where his head is. There you go. There you go, yep. We'll come back and check. So while Emily's eating chocolate, Let's see. we will check and see if the boa ate. <gasps> nope. Oh, that's right, I moved it. Shoot, I thought it was like, oh, it's gone. And I forgot I put it there. Yep. Lame. Well, I don't want it sitting for two days since we're going to be closed tomorrow. No. So I we'll guess take we'll take it out. I guess we'll feed it to somebody else. Let him warm up and calm down. Yeah. I bet that'll help. Take a look at this. Christian pooped. Oh my gosh! And that's a good, solid-looking poop too. Good job, buddy. You look so much better now after a shed and a couple meals in you and a nice poop. Good job. You are looking so good. Hi. I know I'm stretching your lip a little bit. Sorry. We have a little bit of scar tissue, as you can see there, but it's healing up really nicely. It really just took a, a good shed to take care of a lot of that. So now we're just gonna get some weight on him, and you know what? We're gonna move you to a tropical substrate now, since your poop clears or passes the. Okay, the real test though is how much weight has he gained? I mean, he started about six weeks ago at 3,060 grams. Yep. So today, after several meals in him, Christian, how much do you weigh? He weighs 3,514 wow. grams. Wow, he's gained just about 500 yeah. grams. That's Good job, awesome, dude. dude. Good he, job. Well, I mean, I haven't seen him since we got him, and he looks like a, you know, he's still underweight, but he looks like a boa, not yeah. an emaciated boa. Yeah, he looks like he's yeah. alive now. Yeah, hey, dude. Buddy, you're doing so well. Remember how concave his belly was, though? Yeah. Let's see. Which, it's still, still got a little bit here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And he can, whoa, oh, he can geez. suck it in more, apparently. Oh. That's so weird. Yeah. But it's not as hollow, I No, feel. especially down here. Yeah, like, it was, you could see where the creases he was able to do that all the way down here. Yeah, yeah, he was. So this guy's looking a lot better, but he still needs some time, still needs some TLC. So now that he's upgraded to the tropical bedding, let's put him back in his bin. Hey buddy, take a look. You get tropical substrate. You're graduating. Here you go, bud, go check it out. So this is, by the way, not a to permanent home. This is too small for a permanent environment for the size of Boa, but for the small amount of time we'll have him during his rehabilitation, this will work just fine. I don't have a cave in back because if I put a cave in the size of Ben with the size snake, he won't have like any room to move around. So we're going caveless here. That also seems to be what he prefers or it works well to get him to eat. He'd probably eat no matter what, but you know, it works. So we're going to keep it this way and get some more weight on this dude. We'll check back in a bit. All right. Well, we have officially had Christian the Boa now for for seven months. Wow. It is now end of September. Actually, it's just about October. We've pretty much had him for eight months. And since we picked him up, check out all these other medical cases we've gotten. We're not gonna do videos for them, but we have Voldemort, uh, Voldemort the ball python. What's your issue? This one, 
Oh, nose rub. Oh, that's right. We have like a uh, nose rub and in, um, infected mouth. Really, really bad nose rub. Yep, so this one's been seen by our vet already. Yep. We have Larissa, another boa constrictor, and she has a mm. nose rub issue. She has a top nose rub issue. Yep, so we're treating that right now, and both of our six foot cages are occupied with either a big retic or a big iguana. So she has to go in this bin for right now. Yep. We have a lot of animals right yeah. now. So, and a lot of animals that need medications. But that brings us to Christian, the boa constrictor. Buddy, here he is. Oh, look how much weight he's got back on him. You look so much You look better. like a normal boa now. You do, oh my goodness. Look at him. He's like, what a glow up. His color is yeah. like brighter. He's very friendly. Still got that nose rub thing going. Yep, his antibiotics are all done though, and they have been for a while. He's healed up beautifully. He does have some scarring near the front of his snout, but that's to be expected from what he went through and yeah. what it looked like when we first got him. Yeah. And we've been monitoring this. He still has that concave look under here. So I suspect he has a collapsed lung, actually. Or something. Or something, yeah, but he's behaving normally. He's, he's a big, eating for us. Yeah, he's eating. He's a sweet guy. He's yeah, been treated for everything boy. under the sun. So what no. we've noticed is with very old boas, they have a certain look to their face, which he has. He has the old boa look, not the blocky head, but I think that's just because he was maybe neglected a bit, so he didn't get as big as he should have. But he holds his body up pretty well. The way he still holds his body also indicates he might be a pretty old boa. So we think all these signs, all the things wrong with him indicate, oh, that's right, you have a stubby tail. Yep. Uh, just indicate that he is an old, Could old man. Could have been a wild caught, too. He might have been wild caught. Depending yeah. how old he is. Yeah, we don't know how old he is. So we just think after all these months, he is very old. I forgot to mention he also has cataracts. So oh. it looks like he's permanently in blue. He's yep. not in blue right now. He has shed multiple times. He's not in shed right now. Well, his belly also kind of looks like he's in shed too. Oh, so he might be going into shed. Maybe he is. But he does have even out of shed, his okay. eyes look like that. Yeah, so it's hard to tell when he is in shed because his eyes have cataracts. Um, but yeah, you actually might be in shed right now. But yeah, that's, that's Christian. So what we're gonna end up doing is just adopting him out at a reduced rate because of how old he is. We don't know if he has much time left. And it just so happens that one of our employees, or actually one of our interns, Brooke, is our going educator to be, intern. Yeah, she's going to be adopting him. She fell in love with him over the summer, so happy ending. He'll still be in the Snake Discovery family in a way, so we'll get updates about how he's doing with her, too. Yeah, I wish this could have been one of those really satisfying rescue videos where the animal looks terrible at first and then looks now amazing and perfect at the end with Christian and his age and his past. This is as good as he's going to get, we're pretty sure, but he is healed up and healthy. As eating. He's eating, yeah. He's as Pooping. good as he's gonna get. You are a wonderful snake, too. You're not abandoned and not on heat anymore, either. But yeah, you are such a wonderful boy. And I'd still say it was a huge success, him, yep. him recovering. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers, for making rescues like this possible. Your funds are what allow us to take in so many animals every year, every day. Just today we had, what, Two three? balls, a boa. A beardy. A beardy. And a leo. Yes. Dropped off just today. And another yeah. one coming in back here soon. Oh, that's right. And then a mystery snake on its way in. What's what's the mystery snake? It's a very, very skinny ball python. And a very skinny ball python. Okay. Yep. So the oh. cycle begins all over again. Yep. But we at least have one success story here for Christian, the boa constrictor. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.